Dear Emily, where do I even begin? Maybe with a huge thank you to the people who helped the stars align so we would meet at that old house on North Thayer Street. Or with God, who placed in my life a beautiful and strong woman who I very quickly realized would be my wife someday. Well, today is that day. I feel like we've been talking about it forever. It seems like it has never really been a question of if, but rather a question of when. We both worked so hard to get to this point, from all-nighters in undergrad, working off shifts, working weekends, and constant studying. Two bachelor's degrees, a master's degree, almost, and a doctorate degree, and a big board exam. Loved ones that have passed away, and recently some new loved ones that have been born and will undoubtedly be a part of our lives and the lives of our future children. It might be cliche, but I feel like I'm the luckiest guy in the world today. The last six years has been better than anything I could have ever imagined or dreamed of. I can't wait to see the fu what the future has in store for us. I know that there will be good times and bad times, triumphs and struggles. I know that whatever life this life throws at us, we will tackle it together with God's help, and our love for each other will only continue to grow. I can't imagine a better person to spend the rest of my life with and to raise a beautiful family with. Happy 6th anniversary and happy wedding day. We're getting married. I love you so much. See you in church. Bradley James, my soon-to-be husband, the day is finally here. Six years in the making, today our two lives become forever intertwined. From the moment we went on our first date six years ago today, I knew my life was going to be changed for the better. What first caught my eye about you was your confidence and your positive energy regardless of the situation. You were never afraid to be yourself, unapologetically yourself. The more we started talking, the more I learned about your focus, goals, and values. Everything just lined up for us, and with every conversation, there was more in common. My focus quickly shifted from me to us and from my future to our future. You made me want to grow to become closer to God, closer to my family, and even have more fun. Your spontaneity and your ability to make the best out of every situation was something that I wanted in my own life. Your gratitude and patience with others I needed to see. Your work ethic might even put an edge onto my own. While we have never been short on words, there was always an unspoken understanding between us, even early on. And once our paths crossed, it felt permanent. I can't explain, but I guess people always say, when you know, you know. And I think we both just knew. God put you into my life right when I needed you the most, and I prayed for someone like you. I cannot wait to grow old with you and take on life forever by your side. I pray we always remember how truly blessed we are to have each other and appreciate each other. May the love that we have today never be taken for granted. I can't wait to meet you at the altar today and begin the first day of the rest of our lives. I love you. Your soon to be wife, Emily. I, Bradley James, take you, Emily Rose, to be my wife. I promise to be faithful to you. I promise to be faithful to you. In good times and in bad. In good times and in bad. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. I will love you and honor you. I will love you and honor you. All the days of my life. All the days of my life. I, Emily Rose, take you, Bradley James, to be my husband. I promise to be faithful to you in good times and in bad. I promise to be faithful to you in good times and in bad. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. I will love you and honor you. I will love you and honor you. All the days of my life. All the days of my life.
besides all the fun we had so far, you know, you getting married um, doesn't mean the fun will come to an end. It just means we'll, we'll, we'll have another witness. I'm so happy for you and Emily, and I can't wait to see where life takes the two of you. Timothy chapter 5, verse 23. No longer drink only water, but use a little wine. Cheers to Bradley and Emily. One thing I know for sure is that Emily and Brad's relationship will never lack excitement and communication. I know that with this solid foundation they have built, it will lead them into a very bright future together. And I'm just happy that I'll be there to witness even more of your successes from this point forward. So it's easy to see how happy Brad makes Emily and Emily makes Brad. And above everything else, I can see the respect that Brad shows for Emily and nothing is more important to me than that. Jim and Janet Day have always been extremely supportive and helpful throughout Brad and Emily's time together. And it's obvious they put a high priority on faith and family. And Wendy and I couldn't be happier to be joining the Day family in support of Emily and Brad. So thank you guys. Kiss your bride. 